Hello, my name's Angry Terrapin, and if you're anything like me, you're getting fed up with all the fruit and veg that you've been eating from last week. So today, I'm going to show you how to build this cow cooker. Now this is kind of my own design, but borrowed from a lot of other people's um, designs that I've seen on the internet. Uh, I had a few problems with some of the designs I looked at, in that the cows wouldn't always filter down from the water stream into the catchment slash killing area. So I've uh, done some tweaking and hopefully found a way to fix that for you that's all gonna work quite nicely. So if we come over here, we can hit this button. And if you look in the back, that sets the cows bobbing up and down. So we can take our wheat and then breed these all up. I think that's all of them. And then they will all filter down into here. There's none of them getting stuck in the top. A little bit slow sometimes coming down, but they, I guarantee that they will always come down in the end. And then we come back down the bottom, press this to turn this off, and then we just wait for them to all grow up and hit this button to cook them slash harvest them. Uh, I'm just gonna cut for a moment and let them grow up so I can show you that happening. All right, so now they're all grown up. Eight of them all packed in there. Just a case of clicking this button. And they will all burn up in the lava and all the drops will disappear down to this box. And we can wander off and enjoy a yummy piece of steak. All right, so on your screen right now is everything that you're gonna need for this build. Uh, you'll need some blocks of your choice. Um, you'll also need one half slab as well, uh, some glass, it's kind of decorational, you don't need that, but I'm going to be using it anyway. But you will need four glass panes as well, and you'll also need one sign. And for the redstone side, you'll need th two dispensers, three hoppers, three redstone torches, three pieces of dust, one chest, two buttons, now these must be wooden buttons, one redstone comparator, a bucket of lava, and two buckets of water. So you're going to need a space that's five by seven and also six high, uh, bearing in mind that you need to stand on the top as well. So you might want to allow some clearance for that. But to get started, we're gonna to go to the back of the build here and we're gonna count one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then place three blocks like this and the bottom two are temporary so you can remove those. And then you want to build this out until you have a three by three platform just like that. Then you also want to come out one block like this and build this up so you have a five by five ring around the outside. Oops. And then on top of that, place a layer of glass. And then in the middle of these sections on the inside, place your glass panes like this. They won't connect with each other. And then you can place another layer on the top like this. Remembering to leave this hole in the center. This is where your cows are going to be, your um, seed cows. Until you end up with something that looks just like this. For the next part, come around to the front of the build and in the center, place your chest, and then around the back, crouch place your hopper into it. And on top of that, place your half slab. And then you can build these up at the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to the top. Delete these two blocks here. And then in this gap, place two more blocks like this. This is where one of your dispensers is going to sit, but we'll do that in the next stage when we come to doing all the redstone. Uh, the next stage is to place four glass blocks on top of this chest, like this. Uh, on top of that, place another block, and then just fill that hole in the back there. And then you can pretty much wall this off all the way to the ceiling, like this.
All right, a little bit of an apology. You'll need to remove some of this glass so that you can get into here and place this dispenser facing outwards like this. And then on this block, just one block above it and one block away, place your sign. Uh, and then you can fill that back in with glass. I haven't got any on me. There we go, sorry about that. Uh, then come up to the top, look straight down the center of the hole and place your dispenser in there. And then on the back block behind the dispenser, place one of the water sources and that will all flow around so that it drops all the cows down into here. Now I'm going to wire the water up first. On the left hand side, second block up, place one button. Uh, then we need the blocks back again. Place one, two, three blocks and then step up. Uh, no, no, sorry. Step up there like this. Sorry about that. So that's three blocks and then one block up off the floor like that. Then come underneath to the middle block under where the dispenser is. You can delete that block, place a torch here and here. And that might have ticked. No, it didn't. And that, oh, sorry, no. And then three pieces of redstone dust here like this. So that when you press this button, <laughs> if you put the water bucket in, I should say, like this, now when you press the button, that water will be dispensed at the top there. And that's where the cows are going to sit, and that's what's going to make them bob up and down, which will make it so much easier for you to breed them. So with the water all wired up, we can wire up the lava now. You place your button here, level with the other one, then come around the back, one block below this dispenser, place a block with your comparator on top. Place a torch behind the button, like this. Now you need to place a hopper here, and then crouch place another hopper pointing into that one. Remove this hopper, and then crouch place it facing into the other. So that you've got two hoppers pointing into each other. Now this one is powered because of this torch, so that means when we put one item in here, it won't move. But if we press the button, what we'll get is a double pulse. And that's because of this wooden button. If this was a stone button, this wouldn't double pulse. But because this is a wooden button, this unpowers this hopper just long enough for the item to travel here, back, here, and back, giving you a double pulse out of this comparator into this dispenser. And now you can place your lava into that dispenser. Sorry, deleting blocks again and then give it a test and that should be just enough to kill the cows now obviously the last step needed is to get your cedar cows into this hole here I'm gonna leave you to uh, worry about that one because they can be quite tricky but what I do recommend is that you place um, some blocks around maybe like this um, maybe have a water flow leading into it so that they all get into the water flow and then just fall down into the hole. That's probably going to be the easiest method. Uh, but that's it for today's video. Um, if you've got this far in the video, then uh, comment down below. What's your favorite sauce to have with steak? Um, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget you can always press that like button. That just shows me that you're enjoying these videos. It shows me that I should be uh, making more of them. Um, and if you really want to keep up to date with me in the future, you can always hit subscribe as well. But for now, I've been Angry Terrapin, and I'm going to go and enjoy a nice steak sandwich. Nom, 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 nom.